in this question from the chapter polynomial, it says if alpha and beta are the zeros of this polynomial, and we are given one more relation between alpha and beta, that is alpha minus beta is one over six, we have to get k. Now we are going to use two relations here that we know that sum of the zeros is equal to minus b by a, that is negative coefficient of x by a and the product of the zero, which is c by a. Now using this relation, I can say that sum of the zeros, which is alpha plus beta is equal to minus b. So as you can see, b is minus five. So minus of minus five by six. So this is five over six. Now we are given the product, sum of their difference, right? As far you can see in the question that we know here that alpha minus beta is one by six. So if I do, so that is alpha minus beta is equal to one by six. We can use elimination method to get the value of alpha. So this is alpha plus alpha is two alpha on adding this five by six plus one by six is six by six, which is one. So we got alpha is equal to one over two on transposing two to the other side. Now check here, we got the value of alpha. Now, if I place the value of alpha in the first equation as one by two plus beta is equal to five by six. So I can say that beta is what? Five by six minus half. So that means beta is equal to taking LCM as six. This is five and two, three times is six, right? So this is three here. So beta comes out to be two over six which can be reduced as one by three. So we got finally beta as one over three. Now, once we have got the alpha and beta, we can use this relation. So alpha into beta, alpha from here is half, beta from here as one by three is equal to C by A. Now look into C, what is C is constant, which is K and A is six. So what you'll get here, C by A, which is K over six. This is one over six, two into three, six. This is K over six. So we'll get K is equal to one. So we'll declare K is equal to one is the answer here because we have to get the value of K.